Welcome to the Influencers Project. The aim of these short digital resources is to help you to develop your digital and social media literacy. In this lesson, we are going to explore the topic of cyberbullying and how to deal with a cyberbullying situation. This team is meant to encourage youth living with a disability or a long-term health condition to take an active, positive role and be an upstander helping to create supportive online communities. The definition of cyberbullying in the EU has not been agreed on. However, it is possible to list the most important characteristics of cyberbullying such as It is a form of psychological and verbal violence that can be carried out by one person or a group through online means and may have the potential to be repeated over time. It exhibits imbalance of power and may be a symptom of transmitted violence, which means that both sides may have serious lasting problems. And the victim cannot defend themselves and their powerlessness might be enhanced by the perpetrator's anonymity and a lack of control over public content. However, it can also happen in a private interaction or be exposed to public. Another way of defining cyberbullying is through naming the forms of cyberbullying that takes place. That is, for example, sexting, submission of nasty messages, threats, stalking, blackmailing, name calling, personification in the form of hacking into social media accounts, spreading fake information, posting humiliating videos or photos without consent, for example, happy slapping and exclusion. It is important to bear in mind that by definition, cyberbullying is not a sporadic incidental aggression. Nonetheless, both sporadic and repetitive harassment may have a severe impact on the well-being of an individual. According to findings, between 21% and 59% of Europeans aged 11 to 17 report exposure to cyber hate. It's agreed that cyberbullying happens mostly to children and teenagers, but it also influences young adults in the aftermath as bullying in adolescence and childhood can have worse long-term effects on young adults' mental health than being subject to maltreatment during childhood. Amongst different consequences for the victim, we should be aware that cyberbullying may result in diminishing the self-worth of the victim, changes in performance, spending too much time or even less time on the internet, powerlessness, lack of control, changing in eating habits, depression, isolation, not reacting to the things that make them happy in the same way, or constant anxiety, aggression and self-harm. To minimise the consequences and react to cyberbullying, it is essential to remember two things. Cyberbullying is based on imbalance of power. There is a stronger part that targets the perceived weaker part. And both sides may have serious lasting problems. And cyberbullying might be a symptom of transmitted violence, break the pattern of a circle of violence. In the first place, however, we should concentrate on the person being victimized and break the imbalance. To react in the instance of cyberbullying, the victim or the upstander should develop and use their digital skills. They should learn about the platform where cyberbullying happens. Do not interact as it might fuel the bully. Save the evidence, for example, by taking screenshots. Delete the content or block the sender. Inform the moderators of the online service and ask for action. Change the passwords or hold the perpetrator accountable in the face of the authorities. While being an influencer, you can also be vocal about cyberbullying happening on your channels. Set anti-bullying community guidelines, check in with your followers and be a role model. Create a social campaign on the consequences of cyberbullying. You should remember to not share violent content, react to any signs of cyberbullying, report unwanted interactions to the platform moderators. It is also recommended to refer to external authorities and use anti-bullying software, i.e. Rethink. You have now completed this short video which looked at the basics of the topic of cyberbullying and how to deal with a cyberbullying situation. For more resources that will help you to develop your digital and social media literacy, please visit the Influencers Project website at www.influencersproject.eu.